This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 20th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Before we get started on the map discussion, I thought we'd look at the temperature trace at my weather station in Helena yesterday. It's interesting because it shows a very typical uh, kind of sine wave pattern for uh, temperatures, and those temperatures climbing uh, nicely to around the mid-50s and then falling off with uh, the afternoon hours. So kind of a typical temperature trace for uh, a day without any clouds and just plain sun. The surface pattern features a high pressure center that is now over Virginia and North Carolina. Uh, that was over North Alabama yesterday and uh, allowed us to clear out once there are be clear overnight and allow temperatures to fall back nicely. As a matter of fact, most locations across central Alabama dipped uh, below the 32 degree mark and some uh, into the upper 20s, a little bit uh, warmer than we saw uh, yesterday morning, and that's very nice. In the upper atmosphere, the uh, pattern continues to be that of a ridge over the eastern part of the country with a trough developing uh, across the Rockies and into old Mexico or northern Mexico, and that pattern will be bringing Pacific moisture our way. The big uh, news, I think, for us is that uh, the week ahead is looking pretty wet. Uh, the, the QPF, or Quantitative Precipitation Forecasting, features now on the order of 2 to 4 inches over much of uh, Alabama, and uh, especially along the Gulf Coast, where perhaps as much as 5 to 6 inches uh, may be possible down there. The Storm Prediction Center is out looking no thunderstorms for day one. For day two, we've got a marginal risk along the Gulf, uh, the Central Gulf Coast area. For day three, the marginal risk is over much of the lower Mississippi River Valley, including uh, eastern Texas. And then for day four, there's a risk over the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley just to our west. All right, let's get to the 06E GFS model run this morning. And there's the uh, high pressure system, the surface map showing the high pressure system moving off the Atlantic coast in the upper atmosphere. Come Monday, we have a little uh, short wave coming out of that trough over the western U.S., and that uh, short wave should be bringing us uh, better chances for rain as we get both a combination of southerly flow at the surface along with that moist southwesterly flow aloft, and precipitable water values are going to climb pretty dramatically. Uh, by Monday, we'll probably see precipitable water values over uh, or around an inch and a half. Tuesday, we now see this uh, uh, really strong southwesterly flow developing as the trough becomes uh, fixed over the western U.S. along the Rockies, basically, and uh, that will keep us rather wet uh, as we head into Tuesday. Wednesday, uh, or Tuesday before I uh, leave it, uh, the Cape values are strongest in that area where the uh, Storm Prediction Center has outlooked the risk. So the instability is the greatest down there. For Wednesday... Uh, we see the another piece of that trough coming out across the lower Mississippi River Valley. So that basically just keeps us wet. And we see that surface low that will be moving up across the Great Lakes and dragging a front down into our area so that Thursday uh, we see that much of that energy, uh, much of the dynamics has gone up across the Great Lakes. We're watching another one digging in along the West Coast. Uh, but that will drag the front down into our area, and right now it looks like it'll probably stall out generally north of uh, North Alabama, so it looks like it's not going to get our way as it becomes parallel to the, the upper flow. The trough digs in nicely on Friday uh, over the southwestern United States, and so Friday, Christmas Day, we see that uh, the front will still be in our area. So it means we'll see a, a chance for scattered showers, but at least it's not an all-day rain kind of event showing up. And unfortunately, it's, if you're looking for a white Christmas, there's not one anywhere near central Alabama for Christmas Day. Saturday, the uh, closed low over the southwestern uni United States begins to come out. And of course, the front moves, uh, migrates a little bit further to the north. Uh, as a warm front. So that sets the stage for Sunday as this trough begins to come out nicely, and uh, that makes uh, a bit of a wet day on Sunday. And into Monday, we see that that trough, while it's weakening, is coming across, and that certainly has the look for potential for severe weather, especially along the Gulf Coast, maybe not all the way up our way, but we're verging into voodoo country. And speaking of voodoo country, going out to the end of December, looks like we're into another pattern similar to the one we're experiencing right now. 
with an elongated trough uh, and a southwesterly flow over the southeastern United States. But by the time we get out to January 4th, the pattern has shifted to one that's a little bit colder. Not extremely cold, but certainly much cooler with a trough over the eastern U.S. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann will have the next edition first thing on Monday morning. Stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's ever-changing weather patterns. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.